Good morning, Dopey, and welcome to another edition of Good Morning Dopey, the deep yet often ultimately shallow dive into the daily reflections. My name is Dave. I am also the host of Dopey, the podcast on drugs, addiction, and other stuff. But I'm not cursing anymore. It's over. I'm joined by Howard effing Bucksbaum. You promise that you're not cursing anymore? I think I'm done cursing on YouTube. All right. What do you think? I think it would be great. And Dopey Nation, what do you think about my new commitment to no cursing? Leave it in the comments, like, Mm. subscribe if you have a chance. Right. All right, today is March 9th. (laughs) Surrendering self-will. Mm-hmm. Make a decision to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God as we understood him. No matter how much one, and how he was just saying how much he effing hates the daily reflections. Mm. What do you hate more, the daily reflections or God? Well, first of all, I don't hate God at all. What about the daily reflections? I don't hate the daily reflections. So what were you just talking about? It's what a you, burden to you're, you're effing to making them. me crazy. It's a burden to have to do them. Like Jesus had the burden of carrying the cross. Right. It's, a, it's basically the same thing. So you're comparing yourself to effing Jesus over here. Yes. Okay. Surrendering self-will. Made a decision to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God as we understood him. No matter how much one wishes to try, exactly how can one turn his own will and life over to the care of God or to care of whatever God he thinks there is? This is a good one. In my search for the answer to this question, I became aware of the wisdom with which it was written that this is a two-part step. Mm, I could see many times where I should have died. Me too or at least been injured during my previous style of living, and it never happened. Someone or something was looking after me. I choose to believe my life has always been in God's care. He alone controls the numbers of da- number of days I will be granted until physical death. The matter of will, self-will, or God's will is the more difficult part of the step for me. It is only when I have experienced enough emotional pain through failed attempts to fix myself, that I become willing to surrender to God's will for my life. Surrender is like the calm after the storm. When my will is in line with God's will for me, there is peace within. What do you get out of this thing, Howie? (laughs) I I don't even know what it was about. Surrendering self-will. Oh, right. Okay. No, how, no matter how much one wishes to try exactly, how can one turn his own will and his own life over to the care of whatever God he thinks there is. In my, this is very important reading, actually. It's something that I've struggled with. I'm starting to not struggle with it as much, which is, it's such an esoteric, weird, dogmatic question. Mm. It's a question you've never had to ask yourself. How do you know? What's the question? What is God's will for me? Have you ever asked that question? When you say, question? what is God's will, do you mean like, what is God's plan for me? No. Oh. It's like that's the interesting thing, okay? Yeah. The interesting oh, thing. You You're sitting back. Very yeah. serious. I don't I'm I'm, I'm <laughs> You're done. Yeah. This is the thing. It's yeah. like God's will. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ. Look how receding my hairline is there. Uh-oh. That was God's will for me. Sure. How could it that be what God wanted for me? No. What's the what are you talking about God's plan? I that's what I thought you were getting at. Like what is God's plan for me? And the rest of my life. But that's not what you're talking about. Well, it's like this. Around 12 step, people will often tell you that you need to follow God's will. What my sponsor always tells me to do is to ask God to help keep me on the path. Okay. All right. Keep me on his path. And and what it really is, it's what you're meant to do. Right. Right. So, so sort of the same. What I distilled, I used to struggle with this when I wanted Dopey to be bigger. I mm-hmm. wanted Linda to come back to me. I wanted the last Jewish waiter to be the biggest thing in the world. I yeah. wanted everything that I've ever wanted and been upset when I didn't get it. 
it's like, why isn't that God's will? But what I realized, the thing that, the, the, the change I had in my understanding of this thing, and it was very important for me, mm. um, was that it, God's will is doing the next right thing. And, it, and you can want everything in the world. If you act within certain moral laws of the universe, then you're acting within God's will. If you're looking out for your friends and your family, if you're not doing anything immorally, yeah. then you are doing God's will. And you can have whatever ambition you want, but you need to color within the lines. You can't hurt anybody. You can't sure. shortcut. You can't do any of that effing nonsense. So is it less about, um, because what I hear you saying when you're saying like, wh why isn't this more successful? Why don't I have more? Well, like YouTube. Yeah. Like, why don't I have more? I want more. Why don't I have more? But are you saying that the solution to that is to say, don't ask why you don't have what you want. Instead, ask, what could I do? To be a better person. You see, well, who's, who's the great president that said that? It's not what what it's what is that? Kennedy. Right? So what is it? Not what your country could do for you. It's what you could do for your country. Yes. Yeah. Who so, said that? Kennedy. Right. Yeah. So John. Yes. Fitzgerald. So Fitzgerald. Fitzpatrick. Yes. Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald. Um, nice Jewish boy. Nice Jewish boy. Uh, yeah. So anyway, so what what am I trying to say? I think I was saying. Rather than focusing on yourself and what you're owed. Or what you want. And what you, what you, well, is it wrong to focus on what you want? I mean, it's nice to have goals. It's, that's where it gets interesting. It's important to have goals. Yeah. Um, I have goals. You have goals. Sure. It's when the goals become obsessive. Sure. And when the goals circumvent your ability to be yeah. a good friend, a good yeah. father, a okay. good neighbor. And we're doing this shit while my, I cursed. God <gasps> effing damn it. We're doing this while my poor, beautiful daughter is slaving away watching Chip and Potato on Netflix right. so we can record a few more daily reflections. Right. So you should be asking, what what is the priority? But I see what you're saying. It's it's finding the balance. Yes. It's, not, it's okay to want something. It's okay to ask for something. But the focus should really be on just being a better person. And maybe those things will come. The idea of, is that if you are being a better person if yeah. you are being positive being positive being giving yeah looking out for your fellow person you tend to be able to receive the gifts that you give yeah which is the same thing as saying like if you're putting out positive energy it'll come back it'll come back to you stay strong true. dopey nation effing toodles for chris Ooh, baby, I'm